Today I'm going to show you how to use Emacs Tramp Mode for remote file editing and shell access with Vagrant and Test Kitchen. To start with, I'm in Emacs Shell Mode. It's my preferred terminal because I have everything I ever do in my shell available to me in my editor. Uh, this is a Kitchen Converge, um, firing up Test Kitchen with the Vagrant driver with an Ubuntu 1604 image. It's a really simple chef recipe that just writes out a hello world file and temp example. I've run Kitchen Converge, now I'm going to use Inspect to verify those contents. Uh, I see that the file contents don't match what the test was expecting, so I'm going to go and connect to that Vagrant box and see about editing that file directly. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my uh, password for Vagrant, and there's my directory, my temp directory, and I, oh, I can't edit this hello world file, this example file. The buffer is read only. Um, so rather than I see it's owned by root, let me go ahead and sudo into this box. So I'm going to change my access to actually uh, run the sudo command through my connection. I'm going to connect direct, directly to the example file and change, the, make the edits to match what my test is expecting. Capital H and exclamation point at the end. There we go. And save that and drop back into my shell. And now I'm going to run a kitchen verify again. And I can see that now I'm passing my test. So I've manually fixed my box. But what I really want to do is SSH into the box and delete the file that I've edited. Um, my path there is set to user local bin bash. I've got a, a local bash. But uh, here I am SSH'd into that vagrant box. I'm going to sudo. Um, change to the temp directory. I uh, just double check, you know, I'm on the right box and uh, I definitely am root. Um, but I'm going to just remove that example file uh, and go back and edit my original recipe so it has the content that I want. So, you know, I, I'm running show, Kitchen Verify. Uh, the file is gone, so my tests are failing again. Uh, but what I really want to do is get that chef recipe in place and fix the content here. So Chef is going to be doing the management, not uh, manually editing a Vagrant box. That's not very sustainable. So now I'm going to run a Kitchen Converge on the machine, uh, which will run the Chef client with my updated recipe and write out that new file. Run Kitchen Verify against it. And we can see that uh, it's now passing that test. So that's great. Uh, I've updated my recipe. Tests are passing. I'm done with this VM. I can destroy it and close out my extra buffers, uh, my vagrant buffers. I don't need those anymore. Uh, kitchen destroy. My VM is gone and I am done. I'm going to go ahead and enter my uh, password for vagrant. 